Hello everyone and welcome back. So today I will finally show you all my battery collection. Um, no, just, just kidding. Um, actually I'll be taking apart these batteries and get out the manganese dioxide and then turn it into manganese nitrate. I need the manganese nitrate for a future video where I will use it to make manganese dioxide um, electrodes for electrochemistry. So I'll just go ahead by taking these batteries apart and somehow getting the manganese dioxide out. This is all the manganese dioxide I obtained from those batteries. It came out to be around 160 grams. Um, well, it's not mostly manganese dioxide, it's probably mostly manganese reoxide, that is MN2O3, because those batteries I used were already pretty used up. But anyways, I now want to react this with a bunch of formic acid. I'm using formic acid because it's just what I have and I found it works pretty well so I'm gonna use it. I could also use hydrochloric acid and that would probably be even better but oh well whatever. already quite a bit of gas being produced. Um, I didn't expect it to react that quickly but apparently it does. Also this reaction already produces quite a bit of heat because it's uh, like 50 degrees already. Um, I hope it doesn't run away and go everywhere. Here you can see what's going on chemically. The formic acid gets oxidized to carbon dioxide and water, reducing the manganese to its 2 plus oxidation state. And you end up with manganese formate, carbon dioxide and water. Anyways, the next thing to do is to reflux this for uh, some time. This just helps the reaction go along.
after cooking this for a while, I just need to extract all the manganese formate and I will do this by hot filtering it. And after that I might wash it with a bit more water just to get out everything. So now I have a bunch of manganese formate solution and next I would have to boil this down because all this excess water in there will interfere with the other steps. Um, however, this has still got quite a bit of formic acid in it so I can't do that inside. And I also can't do it outside because look at it, it's way too cold to do that outside so instead I'm just going to distill it so I can actually do it inside without breathing acid fumes. And just like that, the solution's volume has been greatly reduced. Um, the next step is to add sodium carbonate in order to precipitate out the manganese as manganese carbonate. However, there is a slight problem with that and that's that there's still or there might be a bit of a impurity of zinc in this because the batteries I started with also contain zinc and there might be some in there. So along with the sodium carbonate I'm going to add in some aqueous ammonia. The ammonia will complex the zinc and just keep it in the solution while the manganese will precipitate.
So here's the manganese carbonate after drying to get rid of all leftover ammonia that might still be in there. And the next step is to convert this into manganese nitrate but just reacting it with some concentrate nitric acid. The product is, or this intermediate is kind of brown which is not ideal. I would like it to be white or maybe pale pink but it's brown and that's slightly concerning but I will just move on. So uh, it has turned into this horrible brown solution. I think what happened is that during the preparation of the carbonate it somehow oxidized maybe with the ammonia a bit and uh, it turned into like manganese 3 plus or manganese 4 plus and that precipitated out as maybe manganese dioxide. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to put this in storage and hope that this suspension will settle out and that the product is still pure enough for me to use it. Anyways, that's basically it for this video. Um, so, yeah, till the next one and bye.